Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited for this Y2K inspired transformation. Y2K is obviously the year 2000, we all know that, right? Like, do I need to specify that? Anyways, so the early 2000s are back and they're better than ever and it is everything. But anyways, we're in a rush right now because we gotta go because I'm gonna chop my hair off. Um, I've been realizing that like this long, like, Super, super long hair is giving me very much like, I'm a millennial, I grew up watching Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus's long hair is kind of like what I still want in my life. And I'm Gen Z, okay? So this isn't working anymore. Can you tell that I'm like very much on the cusp? <laughs> millennial and, and Gen Z, and that's why I'm very uh, proud to be Gen Z. I'm like, I'm one of you. Um, But I am. So let's chop this off and let's go. I'm late, as usual. Uh. Vamos. Do you live for this red hot moment? Ooh, this is from Fabletics and I feel, I feel kinda hot. That's actually being kind of dramatic. The reason that I'm cutting my hair isn't because it's Y2K inspired, although it low key is, but I just wanna be lighter for the summer. Um, I cut a lot off, so when we get home, I'll show you. Uh, so this is my supply for the rest of the day. I feel like I'm preparing for a zombie apocalypse. Not me abbreviating zombie apocalypse to zombie apocalypse and thinking that's cute. What has gotten into me? Oh, oh no! <laughs> I spilled the coffee all over my brand new Fabletics. You can get any two bottoms for $24 plus 50% off and free shipping off your first order when you join VIP. <laughs> Was that not like a very clean uh, ad uh, deliverable speech? Wow, I'm honestly getting good at this. Who spills their coffee and completely hits all their talking points? Not the most talented influencer in America. I'm just kidding. Imagine, God forbid, if anybody took that seriously. So this is some more Fabletics stuff I got. On the left is this black set, and I love the V detail on the waist. It's so cute and so flattering. And on the right, I styled the sports bra as a top so you can see how cute it is for the daytime. I also got this set with little roses all over it, and it's so cute since we're in spring, heading into summer. It's so now. And bam, this red hot moment for when I want to stand out. Like, boom, look at me. Yes, I'm wearing red. So Fabletics is excited to share that they'll be offering 70% off everything for new VIPs only as a special Memorial Day offer. So click the link in my description and enjoy that, baby. I was showing Eddie my new hair. Hey, oh, I haven't even shown them my new hair. Hold on. I don't know. It's very, sh like, it's a lot shorter than what I'm used to, but it still feels a lot like lighter, bouncier, more summer. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. The following day. Hello, baby. Can you see how inspired by Y2K I've been lately? Like, who am I? Um, are you ready to get ready? Yes. Um, are you ready to get into the get ready with me portion of this video where I'm going to transform myself into a Y2K queen? Um, let's get into it. I was just making myself a cup of uh, coffee because I like to be energetic in my videos um, so I don't bore you. Aren't I so kind? <laughs> okay, hello. So if you're like me and you've been seeing that Y2K is like fully back, the aesthetic is trending, it's super popular, you're probably, well, I don't want to assume, but let me just tell you how I'm feeling. I love the fact that Y2K is coming back, but I'm still a little bit mortified and traumatized from the past because literally we had this whole realization 10 years later that the fashion was bad. We're like, ew, I can't believe people wore that in Y2K and then it's all back. So like a bit of me still feels uncomfy with the whole thing, but then another bit of me is like, parts of it is cute and I'm like ready to rock and I'm ready to bring back some of the styles into my personal life, but just not all of them. So I guess it's time for us to just all get experimental with this aesthetic and see what we resonate with and implement like the little styles that we do like from Y2K into our everyday life. Because when it's done right, it is really cute. Like there's a lot of cute Y2K moments. Like this is what I love. Like I'm obsessed with this whole aesthetic. Like Paris Hilton even has this top and I got a really similar one from IMG. I love this look. I love that the little string pants are coming back. So there's a lot of Y2K that I love and there's a lot of Y2K that I hate. <laughs> Um, one makeup look in particular that really comes up when you Google Y2K makeup is this, in my personal opinion, 
heinous light blue eyeshadow look. I don't like this look. It's not that I don't like this look on the celebrities that wore it in the time period. I don't like blue on my eyes. Like it just, I always look bad. But in the sake of stepping out of my comfort zone and being experimental, I'm gonna try this look today. Ooh. Wish me the best of luck. Also, my friends are coming over tonight. Um, if I look like a weird blue situation, they're just gonna have to put up with me. That's what friends are for. So, we are going to do hair, makeup, Y2K outfit, all of it together. So, I'm gonna give it a go. Ew, I just know that I'm gonna hate it already, but whatever. Every time I do blue on my eyes, I look so low budget. Like, it's not the classiest color for me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just my face. I mean, you probably already know. If you put the matte painterly paint pot as a base on your eyeshadow, that eyeshadow is going nowhere, honey. I will say, as far as Y2K coming back in terms of like social relevance is concerned, I am so glad. Like, honestly, I could spend all day long watching Y2K T. Early 2000s drama just really hits different. It was such a different time. Um, it really does show me though, like how much things have progressed, thank God. The year, like the early 2000s, and I guess everything before that was the wild, wild west. Like we are talking about degrading women, on magazine covers like it was bad it was dirty like the news back then did not hold back like the news right now is shady but in a different way like they'll post an unflattering picture of a girl and then the headline will be like Mindy rocks her new light blue bikini but you know that if it was like 20 years ago the same magazine would have been like Mindy looking fat on the beach did she gain weight baby weight going nowhere like early 2000s were toxic in that regard so I just, my heart goes out to the celebrities of that time because they went through it, girl. They went through it and watching back, like going back and reading the headlines, that shit was wild. But like a lot of it, I'm not gonna lie to you, is so entertaining looking back. Like the shit that would go down back then, Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, all of that drama, fire crotch, that would never fly today. As it shouldn't, but looking back, it's just so funny. Oh God. Let's start this look. Also, I need to flex this while we're here because if I don't flex it now, there's not really gonna be a time for me to flex this that makes sense in the future. So Paris Hilton follows me on Instagram. Mm, 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 mm. That's a flex, if I've ever heard one, so. Okay, I guess we're just gonna start off mixing two blues and it seems like Miss Brittany has it all around, like all the way into the crease and out. All right, let me just let me just go for this. I do like that she smokes it out underneath with a navy though. Like that is hot. Oh yeah. I might have spoken too soon on the hating blue eyeshadow thing because so far, I love this. Like I feel like this look is gonna end up being amazing. Um, okay, I guess we should walk into things with open minds more often. Pretty much for my skin and for a lot of the makeup, I'm gonna keep it pretty consistent with how I do my regular makeup because not that, that, that much has changed that I'm noticing from these photos to modern makeup. What I've been doing recently that has been rocking my world that I highly recommend you do is I mix my foundation in with an oil and then I apply it together. This way I use less foundation, which just makes the look overall feel a little bit more natural. And the oil will give your face a natural glow too. So I do like two pumps of foundation, two pumps of oil, mix it together and it becomes beautiful. Honestly, any type of face oil works. I've tried so many different kinds and they always all look bomb. And I'm gonna moisturize with my Ola Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Ready Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer. Ola Henriksen rocks, that's first of all. But this one is for combination skin and it literally like hydrates you, but still doesn't make you look like greasy, you know? So early 2000s T videos have been my guiltiest pleasure recently like they literally bring my body peace when I watch them I don't know how to describe it but what's really weird is how so much of the style is coming back but then like so much of the tea is coming back and like so much of the people from that era are now like incredibly relevant again like Paris Hilton I know she's like super relevant right now but I need her to be a little bit more relevant like I am obsessed with her like she's still relevant in my mind um, also the fact that Jennifer Lopez 
and Ben Affleck are back together. Like what in the early 2000s is going on here? Like if you remember this, and I don't, but I know this because of all my Y2K escapades, Brad and, what's his name? Not Brad, Ben and Jennifer were literally like the first couple that conjoined names. Like there was no couple joining names before Benifer. Like literally that was Ben and Jennifer and they were the first like Hollywood Benifer couple and that was the first time that that's ever happened and that like rocked the tabloids and that was like the talk of the town back then. And now they're like back, like fully back. Um, another reason that I low-key like early 2000s tea is because it is all kind of like said and done so it's not like it currently matters so there's just peace in like learning about <laughs> American history. I just love learning about American history. I love school. I'm using my OG Chanel bronzer. Nobody will ever take me away from this bronzer. This bronzer has my heart. I'm gonna link everything that I use in the description and like all the clothes and stuff. I wonder if Ben and Jennifer are gonna stay together this time. It's just like, it's weird because when they were together, they were together for so many years and then they had like some dirty breakup and he ended up marrying Jennifer Gardner and then Jennifer Aniston or Jennifer Lopez married whoever she married and then they all had a bunch of kids, but now their love is like rekindled like that is a Weird situation and I just love following along. They were just recently spotted in Montana together um, So I'm living for that tea other early 2000s tea that I recently dove into was the Brangelina tea I could not believe that that was a real thing and now that I'm older and I can like put two and two together and realize why things were such a big deal back then. I'm like, whoa, that was a big deal. So Brad and Jen Aniston were like the hottest couple. That was like the hottest thing in the early 2000s. Like everybody was like, this is a match made in heaven. Like you have two of Hollywood's most adored celebrities and they're together now and they're both gorgeous. And then Brad Pitt goes to film Mr. and Mrs. Smith and little Miss Angelina Jolie steals her man literally steals her man and they tried to deny it in the press. They tried to say, oh, like they weren't hooking up during the filming of the movie. Like Brad and Jennifer had literally gotten married. Um, and then he left and got with Angelina Jolie and you know how that story ends. They adopted a bunch of children from all over the world. And, oop, but then they eventually got divorced. And now recently the whole like them running into each other at whatever award show, like what in the early 2000s is going on right now. I cannot believe it. Oh yeah. Now, what I will say is the early 2000s definitely had a bunch of really good fashion moments that we can obviously like take and incorporate into our new lives now as what? What am I trying to say? Let me restart that whole sentence. That made no sense. So, I personally think the early 2000s have so many good fashion moments that we can reuse in today's fashion. There's like this rule with fashion that every 20 years the style comes back. So, believe it or not, like Y2K was 20 years ago, um, which makes sense because I was literally like a one year old or a two year old or something. But now it makes sense for that fashion to come back. What I will say though is what was going on with us in the 2010s? I cannot believe we wore these Jeffrey Campbells all the time. We wore these hoop skirts all the time. We wore the leggings under the skirts. Like the 2010s were really, really bad in fashion and like I really don't know what went on there and if you're a similar age to me we really fell victim to like the worst fashion era ever and all of our throwback pictures are like cursed with these awful styles but could you imagine if in 10 years from now those come back like we're all walking around looking like this I will not know what to do with myself, I'm sorry. What really is sad though, when looking back at the early 2000s, like I mentioned before, is it was so sad how the media would talk about women and girls, and I'm talking about girls that are like 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. Like the tabloids at the time, the way they would attack Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears, it's like, how much are we gonna blame them for going crazy when y'all really did that to them? Like the press back then was, insane and as cheeky as it is to look back and be like oh my god it's so iconic to look back at bimbo summit Ugh, that was really iconic but like as fun as it is to stroll down memory lane memory lane it is really sad that those girls had to go through all that 
I'm also watching a bunch of Holly Madison YouTube videos. I'm obsessed with her too. Again, the Y2K is back. Like Holly Madison was recently on Alex from Call Her Daddy's podcast. And first of all, I don't know how none of these women have aged. Freaks me out. Holly Madison looks the same. Paris Hilton looks the same. Lindsay, not so much. But a lot of them still look exactly the same and it's very bizarre. But anyways, so I started like following her YouTube channel and watching her. First of all, she's so cute and I love her personality, but how did those things happen back in the day? Like she was talking about her days in the Playboy Mansion and what a misogynistic, nasty ass world the 2000s were. But looking back at that shit is insane and I just like really feel for those women that had to go through all that stuff and I cannot imagine what it would be like for us if we had to go through that. And all these people, Megan Fox, literally Megan Fox, Oh, I could go on a rant about how Megan Fox deserves better, but all these people deserve better and they deserve apologies from all those press outlets, from the paparazzi, from everybody because the early 2000s were gross. Like Megan Fox had to go through so much bullshit. Like everybody typecasted her as the bitch because she didn't want to like do whatever Michael Bay said and meanwhile he's like sexually objectifying her when she was 15. He made her wear a bikini and dance and dance under a waterfall. Yes. This all happened. I'm very educated in American history, okay? But even she's back. Like, it's iconic. Like, she's out here slaying the press, like, all over the front page news dating machine gun Kelly, and I live for it. What is 2021? It's literally, it feels like 2001, but, like, transplanted to now, and I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. It's all making me so happy. So, in Britney's look that I'm recreating, she has a lot of blush on, and it's all down here, but I feel like we've all collectively, as a society, came to the group realization that the blush should go up here. Um, so, as far as accuracy goes, I'm gonna move the blush. It's not gonna be accurate, but it's gonna look better, because if you put blush down here, it kind of drags your face down, and we all know this now. We've evolved. <laughs> Oh yeah. I really hope that Juicy Couture makes a full comeback. I guess I should support their business and buy a bunch of their tracksuits, but um, they really went through it. Like, remember when they just ended up in Kohl's randomly? Ooh. But like, it was Bloomingdale's, 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 Kohl's. And we were all like, oh, okay. Um, but I feel like they're gonna come back, or they're already coming back. I see them everywhere. Like, I see pink tracksuits all over the gram. Um, if I didn't live in Arizona that literally gets 220 degrees, I'd probably invest in one myself. Maybe I'll get one on Depop or something. Yeah, I'll get one on Depop and I'll wear it around the house. Um, let me know in the comments if you were a velour juicy tracksuit gal or a towel terry cloth juicy tracksuit gal. Also, let me know if you preferred the ones with the designs on the back or no designs. I loved like the simple ones with zero designs like i hated the ones with like those crazy designs on the back i was like nope not cute i would always like to rock the ones that were just like matching sets and plain and the velour ones the terry cloth ones were cute for like a pool day but the velour ones just felt luxe like they just hit different mama 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 hi mama good girl my dog has been sleeping there this whole time. She's so cute. So for brows, I'm gonna use my tried and true NYX Cosmetics Micro Brow Pencil. I'm a firm believer in not spending a lot of money on brow pencils. Like these NYX Cosmetics ones are very cheap and they do the same thing as any other brand is gonna do for you. This is in the shade Taupe. And normally I would go in there afterwards and like fan them out and make them look a little bit um, fluffy, but that's very 2021 and that's not what we're going for. So not today, baby. So Miss Brittany smokes underneath her eye with a dark purple, so that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I was not expecting to love this look so much. I'm obsessed. Now I'm gonna go in with this Makeup by Mario Black liner. I love the formula of this liner. It is seriously like the most pigmented, creamy situation. I'm obsessed. Now in Britney's look, she did just a gloss and I love that look, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my lips, not fill them in and do a gloss on top of that because I feel like that's the more modernized version of the early 2000s just like gloss moment, but it looks better, honestly. I'm gonna use this Kylie Cosmetics liner in the shade Girl Strip and I'm definitely not gonna overline because that is far too 2021. I'm gonna just keep my natural lip line. <laughs> I'm really gonna make 
the brow bone very, very, very icy. I'm using this color called Frosted AF from the BH Aspen palette. Oh my God, this looks so Y2K. I kind of love it. For highlight, I'm not gonna do too much because highlight was not that much of a thing in the early 2000s. Like that started in the contouring era and timeline wise, we're not there yet for this. Okay, so that concludes the makeup portion of this video. Um, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's go do hair, baby. Y2K inspired hair. These are some of the inspo picks that I found. Which one I'm gonna do yet? I don't know. Let's go see. Okay, so for hair, these are the materials that I have brought with me. I have these tiny little clips, which are so early 2000s. I also have like the big clips if I wanted to do one of those looks. And I also have these tiny little hair ties that I got off Amazon. The hairstyle that I'm leaning towards the most right now, oh, I forgot that I chopped all my hair off. That was alarming. I kind of miss my long hair, low key, but like this is cute or whatever. So it seemed like little tiny space buns were a big thing in the early 2000s. I'm gonna try that first and see how that goes. You're also supposed to leave like two little pieces dangling in front. Now what I'm noticing is everybody who does these little space buns has the stripey highlights that were also a big vibe in the early 2000s, but I say we leave those in the past. Those early 2000s highlights, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh my God, do you guys remember the video that I made where I got <laughs> my hair done in LA and they gave me those Terrible stripey highlights. Let's leave those in the past. I'm all good for that. Cute, I think. I don't know, is it too tall? Uh. Okay, these are adorable. I just checked in the other mirror to make sure. These are great, I'm a fan. Let's move on to the outfit. I have so many Y2K clothes that I've been getting, so let's see where we land. I mean, technically I could just call it a day and stay in this, but I promised an outfit. So you're getting an outfit, vamonos. Okay, whoa, not to be dramatic, but I just took some selfies in this glam and I snapped. Like, the Y2K time period was onto something. <laughs> Let's pick a fit. Okay, so a lot comes to mind when I think of Y2K. I definitely think of low rise jeans, which I, uh, as much as I want to start wearing them again because I do think they're cute, they just make my ass look flat as a pancake. So I can't like fully get behind it. But if you know a pair of low rise jeans, because I do like the idea of showing the whole stomach, like I think that is really a cute look. But when it makes my butt look flat, like I just can't. Um, so when I think of Y2K, I think of halter tops, I think of color, I think of the dazzled belts, I think of little tank tops, I think of furry stuff like. This crop top, for example, is giving me very much Y2K. This little top is giving me very much Y2K. Honestly, I could do this one. It like ties around here and has an open back. And this halter, ooh, I like this one because it's very colorful. And halter tops, like, come on. Halter tops are like the most Y2K things ever. Also, when I think Y2K, I think chunky rings, hoops. These jeans, for some reason, I think these are high-waisted jeans, but they're giving me Y2K energy. These are from Revice Denim, and I think we might have the start of a look right here, ladies and gents. We shall see. Okay, so these rock. I feel like these are a good mix between Y2K and 2021 because the bagginess is very now, and the bit of high-waistedness is also very now, but for some reason, the light wash denim and this detailing on it is giving me Y2K. So this feels like a good hybrid moment. And this top is from a brand called Outcast Clothing. I found them on an Instagram targeted ad. This is so cute. Are you kidding me right now? Wait, I was not expecting to love all this as much as I do. Stop. I feel like a pair of hoops are obviously a must as well. So we have these big ones. Guys, I'm fucking serving a look right now. Okay, and now for shoes, I do have a lot of color up top so I could do like a funky shoe, but because I'm wearing wide leg or like bootleg jeans, I do want to pair it with some sort of like cool streetwear sneaker. I have both of these and technically my outfit could go either way because it has orange and it has yellow in it. But these are new and I haven't taken them on a spin yet so I think I'm gonna choose these. I'm obsessed with dunks. Um, dunks are like a hack because they look 
very similar to Jordan's, but they're not Jordan's and they're like much cheaper. I buy them on Go. I am severely feeling myself right now. Okay, I just added on this bedazzled belt because it is all over Y2K Fashion Night bedazzled belt. I feel so blast from the past right now and I feel like it is not Y2K without some fun chunky rings to finish it off. Ladies and gentlemen, ha. Woo! Okay, that was so much fun to film. Wow, thank you for, and there goes the funky chunky. Thank you for hanging out with me in today's video. I really haven't had this much fun filming a video in I don't know how long. So I appreciate you coming along for the ride and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow 12330 on Instagram while you're at it. I love you guys, bye. Oh wait, I'm stupid, I forgot to mention these. Okay, these are from Amazon by the way. Okay, woo, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.